So, just in case you didn't know, this is a new episode called How to Kitchen with Bethany Growler. Actually, it's also called How to Balance Life because this is what happens if you don't balance life. You go to the grocery store at a wrong time of day, that makes you late for work, and then you eat dinner super really late and then your husband gets upset and then you both starve to death and then you end up dying in the middle of the night because you're both so hungry and upset with each other. It's just really bad. Okay, I didn't really... Might be a little bit of an over-exaggeration. Not much. Except for the part about my husband getting angry because he doesn't actually get angry. So my also include the part about like anyhow so yesterday my friend and i decided we'd go grocery shopping together because i needed to go grocery shopping and so did she blah 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 Ta-da! we spend time together and get grocery shopping done win-win except for that she needed to go earlier than i did and then things don't work so we plan on doing it today totally fine except yesterday's meal plan needed two kinds of salad and i needed to go to the store for those so I figured, okay, I'll just go to the store by myself, and then tomorrow, just for two things today, and then tomorrow I'll go with her to her fancy schmancy healthy food store and get the rest of the groceries there. It's a foolproof idea. So I drove, I drove up to the grocery store, and I was like, oh, this grocery store is a little bit further away than I thought. I filled up my gas and I was like, oh, I should double check and see if I have a meeting before work today because if I did, it would be in about 10 minutes. And so I checked and I didn't have a meeting. I was like, perfect. I have time to go to the grocery store. So I went to the grocery store and I was shopping and I was like, ooh, I definitely need one of those donuts because this store has good donuts and I need a good donut because it's been a long time since I've had one other invalid excuses about deserving a donut, which, whatever. I got one. I also got a watermelon with like this big, which is a nice size watermelon for two people because I worked really hard on eating it last night at dinner and we hardly put a dent in it. We mostly had most of the watermelon left. So I tried to eat it for lunch too. And it's still there. So, anyhow, when I was at the store, and I got my stuff for my salad, and I got my watermelon, and I got my donut, and I kept going, and I needed something else, and I needed something else, and I saw something else that I was going to really need to use, and it was in the freezer section, and then I saw another frozen thing that I was going to need, it was a good deal, and then I was like, almost like I'd gone through the whole store, and you know how that goes, when you walk through the store, and you're hungry, and you need to go grocery shopping, and you see all the things you need. Except that I still haven't gotten coverage on cheese. And all the recipes that I want to try seem to call for it. Great. Oh, but it's fine. I'm going to the grocery store today. I'll just get it today. So, also, oh yeah, I finally finished grocery shopping. I went and got in my car and put all my groceries in and put my card away and then opened the car door and sat down and looked up at my clock because then my needle and my clock is up here. Just kind of an odd spot for it. Whatever. But I looked at the clock and I was like, Bleh. I've got four minutes to get to work. Is this possible? Is this even possible? I would have to take, if I went straight to work, and then we have to get there really fast. And even though I did just get new insurance, which saved my husband like 60% on his car insurance by marrying me and switching to a company that saves him money, <laughs> sort of. Um, I didn't want to get a ticket. And I also wanted to drive safely. I didn't want to get in an accident. And I also do not want to carry all of my food into um, my work office with me or even into the break room and put it into the fridge and the freezer or bring it into work and put it in the tiny little fridge and freezer because I was still running the risk that I was going to be a little bit late. So I just, you know, 
called them and just told them I was going to be late. So I ran home because the home was already on the way to work anyway. Like, it was already driving that So I ran home, I brought in my food, and I put in the fr milk in the fridge, which was the last thing I bought, which was also like the third thing on my list. So it was like, about the three things that I needed. Good job, because how many times do you walk to the grocery store and you're like, I need two things, maybe three. And you walk out and you have everything except for those two things, but you maybe have the third. It happens. It happens all the time. I used to work at a grocery store. I know people would come in and they'd be like, yeah, I know I was just here with a huge cart full of groceries and I forgot the milk and the eggs and the bread. So they, oh, you always forget those things. People do it all the time. I didn't. I remembered my milk and I didn't eat the eggs or bread, so I didn't get them. Then. So I got home. I put all this stuff away. And then I booked it to work because it was late. So apparently, this is the lesson we learned. Yeah. Take it for what you will. I've got to go grocery shopping. I think my friends just texted me. Bye!